Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, before we start, um, actually, uh, we have the code here. Uh, I'll put this link in the description. All the code that we write is always on GitHub. Um, yeah, and uh, you're gonna need uh, this link right here. I'll put it in the description. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get started in this. So um, first, I'm gonna go create a resource. Um, so actually, I didn't even talk about what we're doing uh, today. We're gonna be uh, using Discord Rich Presence uh, or Discord RPC. Or it's that's not what it's called. It's Discord Rich Presence. Um, I think I show. I'm gonna show you in the beginning part. Um, that how it's working so yeah um, we're, it's gonna be linked with discord and I'll show you how to customize it and do whatever you want so I'm gonna be creating a folder in my resources folder called um, rich presence and I'm gonna go into it right click and uh, I'm gonna create two files called one of them is gonna be called the resource dot little here I'll move this um, in the other side here uh, okay so one of them is gonna be called resource Lua and the other one is gonna be called um, uh, I'm gonna call the client script for this is we're gonna be calling it discord Lua that's what I'm gonna be calling it so uh, let's go into the let's set up the resource Lua it's, it's not that hard um, you're gonna need the resource manifest version uh, I'm gonna zoom this in for you guys uh, so or this specific one I was having trouble without using one so I put one in and it started working I think so uh, I'll the code is in the description below um, I'll put this right here in the description too so you don't have to type it out but uh, yeah you're gonna need the resource manifest version this time for the script and um, I'm gonna be uh, doing a client script and putting in discord uh, that will, uh, I'm just gonna be opening it um, so yeah you can see that discord I thought I spelled it wrong for a second okay so um, before we start going uh, writing the, um, the the client part we're gonna go to this link right here discord app.com slash developer slash applications um, you have to log in through your discord account uh, so I did that. Um, you, you're, if, you, if this is your first time going on this site, you might not have any applications. Don't worry. These are my. This one's Five M Bot. This is Clyde, but my personal one. But you just forget about them. We're gonna be clicking new application. We're gonna be calling this. Um, we're gonna be calling. You can call this application whatever you want. So I'm just gonna be calling it Jeva. So this is what's gonna actually show up as the name, uh, as like the game that you're playing when you uh, create it or when you uh, go into 5M so I'm going to be calling it Jeva and uh, you can see that we I actually have a folder of all the images that I'm going to be using for this because you're in you can use assets for uh, rich presence so I'm going to be um, I'm going to be uh, clicking on choose a new icon there it is I'm going to put in a uh, Jeva.png so that's like the main image that's going to show up for it um, and then um, yeah so we're gonna want to go into this part right here uh, rich presence and uh, for the cover image I'm just gonna put big because um, uh, the this I just put whatever image you want make sure it's big enough it's like you saw it it says uh, that big and my logo wasn't so uh, I'm gonna put big there again and uh, yeah make sure it's big so I'm gonna be creating uh, asset or you can use assets you can see 150 um, you'll see how they work or you, I think you, you'll you'll already see because I'm recording this before I actually show how it works so I'm gonna be putting in uh, my my personal logo is there my Zua logo I'm gonna be calling it Zua uh, this is right here this text right after this image right here that I'm changing that's the uh, key for the text so make sure you remember that uh, I mean you can see it anyways but I'm also gonna be putting big as another asset um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it big. So yeah, those are our assets set up. It's pretty much all set up. So I'm gonna go back to general information and this is your client ID. We'll be using this when we actually set it up. So I'm gonna go back into the script or into the Lua file. 
and uh, let's get started with writing this. So all of this is going to be written in a thread because it's going to be constantly running. It has to be running with how we're implementing it. So we'll do citizen dot create thread and then the function. Uh, oops, I don't mean to do that. To be like this, and we have to end the function. Okay, and then in here we're gonna be putting this all in a while true loop. Um, while true do, oops, and end. And then in here, um, I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be creating a variable called local player. Let's go to get player head minus one. We're gonna we're gonna be using this for one of the parts. I just want to put it in a variable just so you can see that that works. Um, and then we're gonna wanna make this uh, um, citizen dot wait. We have to make it wait. If we don't have that, it's gonna completely crash. Um, yeah, it's gonna completely crash. So I did five times 1,000 because each second there is uh, 1,000 milliseconds. So every five seconds this thread or this, uh, this loop will uh, loop again. And I want to do five seconds instead of like zero or one, how we used to do it, um, or in other scripts, because this doesn't have to be running every frame. I'm just gonna do it every five seconds, so it uses uh, less resources or less like uh, system resources. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be there. There's a ton of natives, so we're we're actually gonna start off. We're gonna start writing off the natives. Um, so set Discord app ID. Um, that's the first one that we're gonna be using and uh, we're gonna so this is what what's actually gonna do is we have to use this client ID to actually make it use Jeva so this this is the client ID I'm gonna paste that in there boom just like that uh, no quotes no nothing so the next one um, uh, set rich presents okay so that one is we're gonna leave that empty for now um, because I'll show you how that works later so yeah okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the assets now so set discord bridge presence I feel like I'm gonna spell something wrong here uh, assets and then uh, this is this is the asset this is the first asset so the the big one I guess you can call it is uh, I'm gonna be using this as my primary one so big uh, in quotes, you gotta have to put big. It's a string, and then uh, set Discord. You know, I'm not gonna type all this out. I'm gonna paste it. Set Discord asset text. Get player. Um. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not even explaining. So in here, this is when you hover over the big asset, like the big picture. Uh, it'll show up. Um. This string. So I'm gonna make it show up. My name. So I'm gonna do get player head. Uh, or no get player name and that's gonna be source because we're getting our name and that native requires a source so yeah this is once we hover over that it'll show our name now I'm gonna do set discord rich you know I'm not even gonna type it out again I, even though I was just there um, there set small and uh, this is <clears throat> excuse me this is what's gonna be the little circle so I'm gonna put my profile picture there, my Zua, in for the small one. Um, so yeah, Zua, and then the uh, the text, uh, small text. When we hover over Zua, we're gonna actually make it show my health um, that I have in game. So to do that, I'm just gonna be typing out health. So just to tell, indicate that it's health, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join this string by saying um, uh, get or actually it's get entity health um, and then the health is going to be player uh, minus actually no it's going to be player okay I'm going to be I'm going to space this out just a little bit because it can get a little complicated when you're using so many natives so I'm going to put a space there so we have to make it minus 100 uh, because uh, the, the way the entity health works it's really dumb but just make it uh, subtract 100 because this uh, the native returns 200 so and it's really dumb it doesn't do anything past 200 I think 
So just make it set it to no, it does, but you just just subtract it by a hundred. Okay, and then um yeah, that's gonna be subtracting by a hundred. That's yeah, that's all good. Uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, what do we do? This rich presence, this rich presence right here. Um, it's just a string. It's like the main string you saw. Um, I'm gonna make it. I've actually seen this done before, and I kind of recreated it. It's gonna show your name and then the street that you're on. So yeah, this is gonna be a little long. So I'm gonna start off with uh, spacing this out. I'm gonna do get player name source. So it's gonna be saying. I'll show you what it's saying. All right, I'm gonna show you what this is essentially gonna say. Um, uh, the, I'll show you what the string is gonna say. So it's gonna be like Zua is on um, uh, this Gucci. I don't know how to spell this Gucci, but something like that. Uh, Boulevard. Uh, sorry, I can't spell. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it do something like that. So to do that, uh, we're gonna do Zua, which is right here, our name. We're gonna be joining this string by saying is on, um, and then uh, I'm gonna make it say. So to do this, this is gonna be a little long. Uh, we're gonna make it say that the the um, street that we're on. So the first native is gonna be um, get street name from hash key. Okay, and then. It's yeah, it's a little complicated. It's gonna get a little more because uh, we're gonna be going inside uh, this native for a little bit. So also, this requires a hash. Get street name from hash key. So obviously, it's gonna require a hash. So to get the hash that we need, we're gonna be using another native called get. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to space this out as much as possible just so you guys can see. So we're gonna be using a native to return a hash called get street name at chord and then this native requires the entity coordinates uh, that the player is on so I'm gonna be making it you know obviously go to the player uh, wherever the player is so um, we have to, I'm gonna use table dot unpack um, okay yeah this is getting pretty long here the parentheses are getting a little bit um, you know out of hand but it's all right uh, you can probably store this in a variable and it'll look a lot better, but I'm just going to be doing it for the sake of what I already wrote. So table dot unpack, that's not it. That's a I think that's a Lua Lua f function whatever. Uh, so this will be unpacking the table that uh, the table that's going to have the uh, where we are. So we have to use get entity uh, chords of the player, and remember this variable is already defined how I use it right here and right here oh I did not mean to do that right up here so we don't have to constantly write get player pet so hopefully I wrote that right um, you can see that there's a ton there's that one that one um, that one that one that one all right so we should be fine on that um yeah I'm gonna go inside the I'm gonna go inside and show you how this works Okay, so I'm in my server now, and um, you can see that. Uh, or I first of all, I added uh, the start rich presence to my resources.cfg. So, and I and when I went in, it, it kind of went in already, and you could see that on uh, my dis my Discord profile, it says uh, Jeva, which is the name that we did. Unfortunately, this is like I don't know why it's over my thing, but. You can see that, or I gotta like fit it through. You can see that that's the name of our thing, and um, Jeva Tutorial. That's our server name, the SV host name right here. You could see it up here, um, and you can see that it says Zua is on runway one, which is true, I guess. Uh, where's runway one? Uh, I mean, yeah, it says right there, uh, I guess. And I am. Uh, it, it updates, like I said, every five seconds. So. Um, if we were to hover over this says my player name this rich presence that we wrote I closed out of the file but yeah uh, and you can see that my health is a hundred now I'm gonna show you um, like uh, when when your health does go down I'm gonna show you what happens so I have this eval thing just don't worry about it I just want to show you how it works so you can see that my health is super low right here and if I hover over it it updates every five seconds so you can see that it's a little slow you can obviously change that wait time to maybe like 20 milliseconds or even less uh, it's up to you how instant but 
it's kind of pointless because I don't think Discord updates their uh, their rich presence thing that fast, so it's just pointless. Um, I think there's I think it's every minute. I don't know. I don't remember, uh, but that's some of the limitations of the Discord API. So I mean that works. Um, you can see that I'm stuck at I guess I'm on 50, but you know it says something else. That's my little name there, and uh, yeah. Uh, you can see that that's all working, and uh, yeah, I mean that's that's all there is really to uh, Discord Rich Friends. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video here. Um, make sure to support us on uh, Patreon, uh, Patreon.com/JevaJS. Um, yeah, I'll try to pump out more videos. I'm out of school now, so yeah, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, goodbye.